Okay, there it is, folks. That's my little fluorescent running on a circuit similar to what uh, Laser Saber has going on. It's what he calls the jewel ringer. And you're not going to be able to see this very well. I'm going to turn the lights on here, but that's a neon going off also. And that right there, that white dot, is the uh, LED on the secondary of my stubble field. So I just want to show you these lights before I turn the other light on here because it'll blind them out. And this is the circuit that I ended up going with, just exactly what Laser Saber did. You eliminate all the parts. You just have a transistor, and you have a coil right here instead of this 220 ohm resistor. And you have this high voltage transformer that comes out of a Fuji camera or one of these other type of disposable cameras. And that's how I have that wired. If you want to take a look at that stop frame, but that's a AAA battery Fuji transformer that I pulled out, put little uh, leads on it, and mounted it on that board. There's just one transistor. Now there's a resistor there going to the potentiometer, which goes over here to my stubble fuel coil, goes through the stubble fuel coil. The leads are not connected at the end. Uh, these are two separate windings. It's open-ended. There's a capacitive coupling between the two different windings. That's how the stubble fuel coils work. Then it comes back out of the stubble field coil on another winding and returns back to the transformer. But the real news here, let's see I have this disconnected. I'm going to give this another zap of juice here and disconnect it again. But I wanted to show something. The real news here is this isn't connected on my circuit on the fluorescent at all. And um, I'm getting it to work. Let me turn the light off again without a connection on the end there. And then I've got this going off. You see those little LEDs lighting up? There's a pair of pliers right here. Not connected to anything. Watch what happens when I tap the pliers. This is acting like a SEC, folks. This is acting like a SEC exciter. This whole environment around here is excited. And if I, if I touch my little LEDs over here to the stubble fuel coil, they come on real bright at the stubble fuel coil. And so I don't know what to say. I mean, this is uh, doing some very, very unusual things out of an extremely simple circuit. The key is what is happening right here. And um, Bolt 1, I think, has a real good description at the energetic form of perhaps what is happening here with some sort of an inductor capacitive situation over there. But uh, anyway, I've got this running on a cap. Let me just disconnect the battery completely, take it away so people just see that. That's a super cap, but I did want to show it. And then I wanted to let you listen to this and listen to what this sounds like. This is interesting. That is a very strange sounding oscillator. And that's on top of that fluorescent tube there. <laughs> 